Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Mother's Day! I am not a mother, but happy Mother's Day to all of you mommies out there. And in all seriousness, here's my green tea from this morning. Ugh. Ooh. Here's my lipstick from this morning. Um, something on my nose. Um, I've been out in the sun all day on a patio, so bear with me if I look kind of frazzled and nasty. Think, guys, a lot of you have emailed me asking, you know, first of all, why I'm giving up coffee. I'm going to elaborate that in a minute because it's really not about giving up coffee, but I'll get to that in a second. It has not been that difficult. Um, and quite frankly, a lot of, um, here's my stance on giving up soda and my stance on giving up coffee. I gave up soda almost on a dare because people gave me so much crap for, you know, it's so bad for you. It rusts off the inside of, you know, trucks or something and I'm like okay here's the thing I really like a Diet Coke okay I like it on ice I like it from McDonald's shoot me okay I'm never going to tell you that I actually don't like the taste but I don't fantasize about being able to drink it all day long um, so I'm just being honest with you but it just so happened that I was home I don't know maybe it was after one of my trips I think it was after I got back from Austin and I hadn't had it for a couple days and it was one of those things where I'm like Actually, I haven't had a soda in two days. And then I thought, let me just see if I can do it. And I did it, and it was kind of one of those things like, if I can do it, let's do it. And then, you know, if it makes me drink more water and whatever. Do I think I'm never gonna have a diet soda ever? No, as a matter of fact, I had one, or probably half of one, um, when we were on this trip, because um, it, it was when we were at Reebok. We broke for lunch, I hadn't had a, a ton of water, and I just needed a, I wanted a sip of something, and I'm like, I'm having half a sip. I, I don't have it like I did, but you know, I don't wanna say, I'm never, ever, ever gonna have it. I'm, I'm probably not gonna get back in the habit of having it all the time, like I used to, but that's my take on that. What happened with the, um, with the coffee, and here's my thing on coffee, because then people got all up in my stuff. <laughs> There's a whole slew of people out there that really just, it's like they're the, um, I got you, cop cops out there and it's just it's like people you need to get out more <laughs> so do I but um if I check into Starbucks or something now like ah, I thought you gave a coffee it's like no here's the deal I'm not making my coffee at home which I'm pointing back there because that's where my it's not my um what did I used to have Tassimo I used to have Tassimo the reason I'm not having my coffee in the morning is not because I really find that there's any problem with coffee or caffeine mind you okay Here's the two things that I'm doing with coffee and caffeine. For the caffeine, pretty much everything I'm doing now is, is about focusing on additional balancing of my hormones, okay? Because I'm realizing that everything goes into play. In the past, when I've given up something or tried to adopt some good habits, it's been a little myopic um, as far as what I was focused on. It was all about quick results and, oh, if I, qu if I cut Splenda, I'll lose weight really fast. This is about lifestyle changes and for me, um, naturally balancing my hormones. Um, you know, talking to Val and kind of realizing, um, talking to uh, my woman doctor who's helping me balance my hormones and has, has diagnosed the fact that I was, you know, they did the blood work and she was the one that figured out I'm in perimenopause, blah, blah, blah. You realize that it's not as, all of the stuff that I've read in books the past couple of years on hormonal balance that I maybe started and stopped, I was starting and stopping for the wrong reasons. I wasn't starting and stopping, or excuse me, I wasn't starting it to make positive changes for the rest of my life for my health and wellness and fitness. It was all about how could I lose weight immediately? And if something didn't satisfy me back then, I was like moving on to the next thing and giving up. And you know, you guys, if you've been watching my blog for a while or watching my videos for a while, and you've seen me the past two years, you've seen me just a bunch of this, not sticking to anything. I'm all about health, my long-term health, balancing my hormones long-term, in addition to getting in the best shape of my life and doing it the right way. So for me, the coffee thing in the morning, it was after I'd quit soda. So I'm drinking water all day. Um, and what I was doing is I was having my one big cup of coffee in the morning. And you guys know a big cup of coffee is as big as my face, okay? So I'm having this huge cup of coffee, and the rest of the day, right, I'm having roasted vegetables, I'm having organic eggs, I'm having organic hummus, having all this good stuff, and then I'm going there in the morning and putting like 200 Splendas in a cup with Coffee Mate 
sugar-free creamer. And you know, when Corey was over here, he was looking at the ingredients. And again, it's, it's not that I didn't know this, okay? I knew it, I was just like, oh, it's my one thing. I just kind of thought like, wow, if that's the only crap stuff I'm having all day, why don't I give it up? And the reason I said, why don't I give it up is, more the stuff I'm putting in the coffee. This is not about me wanting to cut out caffeine. This is not about me wanting to cut out coffee. There are health benefits to coffee, people. And we just heard that when we were at the Fitness Magazine event um, from several different speakers, um, which I will link up to all of their stuff later. It's not about the coffee, it's about what I was putting in the coffee and kind of feeling like, okay, I'm doing great all day. All the stuff that I'm eating now it is, you know, I'm feeling really good about. And then here's what I have for breakfast in the morning. And I was like, gosh, this is like this last frontier. And, I'm, and I thought, back in the Body for Life days, I gave up coffee, why don't I do it? So it was more of like, can I do it? And I did it, and you guys, I have to tell you, when I get up in the morning, so many of you think that I'm so peppy and energetic because of caffeine. It's not, that's just the way I'm made. So how much caffeine have I had today? I had half of this uh, cup of tea, I had an iced tea over at my sister's house, and that's it. And I'm gonna show you, I just got back from Trader Joe's doing my grocery shopping because this is the week I officially start Valerie Waters program for me doing that and that only. Back to the coffee thing. So some of you are asking, you know, and then I checked in at Starbucks and they're like, I thought you gave up coffee. I'm not giving up coffee. If I can have a coffee when I'm out and about, like in an airport, a couple of times I got a chai soy latte and then of course someone jumped all over me like, oh, it's genetically modified soy. Hello, Starbucks now has, or has had for a while, they only use non-GMO soy, so you're not getting the crappy soy that can mess with your estrogen and so on. So I'll either get a chai soy latte, or I will get a uh, soy latte. So I'm, and then as far as caffeine, the only thing that I'm doing now that I have done, that, that I'm doing differently now that I've done my whole life, is as I'm trying to get off of taking Excedrin PM every single night to get to sleep, I started to talk to more and more people and I realized like, okay, I'm the only one that's still like having either my Diet Cokes or my, you know, tons of caffeine late at night. And then I was always like, no big deal. I'll just take et cetera and PM. I'm kind of trying to get into a habit that makes a little bit more sense. And the more I talked to, I just had several meetings one week and all these people were like, yeah, you know, I have caffeine up until one or two o'clock. And I said, really? You really do that? And they're like, yeah, once I cut off caffeine after about <clears throat> two o'clock, I just got this at the fitness magazine thing. Um, a ton of people were saying, and I thought it was just my parents, that were like, oh, I can't have caffeine after four, I'll be up all night. Um, several people that I, that I met with in one week all said the same thing. They were all like, once I cut caffeine after two o'clock, I was able to sleep naturally and it helped your sleep. Very, very important to get sleep. I've always known that, and certainly a lot of what I learned this past week some of the people that were speaking at, my hair's starting to look really jacked at the end of the day. A lot of people that were speaking at the um, fitness magazine event. Okay, here I am futzing with my hair again, sorry. Um, ugh, now I don't like anything. The people that were at the fitness magazine event were also talking about the importance of sleep. Like one of the guys whose book I ordered, he was saying, you know, if you ask me what are the most important things to focus on, he goes, number one, it's your diet, what you're eating. Number two, it's gonna be strength training. Number three, it's sleep. He might have even said sleep was number two. Getting rest in between your workouts, but also getting enough sleep. Um, so a lot of people, and you guys know, if you've tuned in any of these chats we've done with Technogel, Fitfluential, we're really focusing on, it's just as important. At Fitfluential, we try to promote eat, sleep, move, and enjoy. All of those four components are key to balancing your life. It's not just about dieting and exercising. It's about going out and having some, you know, enjoyment in your day. And it's also about getting enough sleep. Rest is key. And I don't want to be taking Excedrin PM every single night or, you know, having to move up to sleeping pills to get to sleep every night. So I'm looking at cutting that. So that's why I'm cutting caffeine earlier in the day. So that's kind of where I'm at on that. It just took me nine minutes to explain that to you. Are you guys all like, <laughs> so. Cheers to you with my green tea. And yes, this is one of the um, sponsors of that fitness magazine event. So this is a, everybody seems to do this now. There's actually a filter in here. So you pour your water in this Camelback thing and then it filters the water for you. I have to say, I have to be honest with you guys. 
Personally, I like drinking water out of a, like a bottle. Um, it makes it, I don't like to sit here like this, to be, I'm just being honest. I like to chug my water. So that said, this week starts now that I'm home and I might actually be home for six to eight weeks, which is gonna be awesome. I'm making time for me first. I am doing, I'm working, Valerie Waters will, will be my trainer. I'm only doing what she says. I'm only doing her diet plan for me and her supplementation, natural supplementation and her food plan. And so, let me show you some of the stuff I just bought at Trader Joe's. Organic, see that? Organic free range whole chicken. Val, you're gonna be so proud of me. Of course, I didn't have my list with me for my Bikini Body Express stuff, but I kind of just went by memory. I had no groceries in that refrigerator back there. Nothing. We've got organic baby spinach, uh, Brussels sprouts. I didn't get the uh, organic Brussels sprouts, but I don't think I need to. Brussels sprouts, egg whites, which are also cage free. Hen hens are free roaming inside a barn. Good times, good hens. Uh, you guys know my favorite. Chipotle pepper hummus, and I checked the ingredients. They're all natural. So you've got chickpeas, roasted red peppers, um, olive oil, blend, tahini, poblano peppers, lemon juice, chipotle peppers, spices, and sea salt. That's it. We're getting away from all the chemicals and crap that can really make havoc with your, um, wreak havoc with your hormones. Ezekiel bread. <sighs> Can't talk. Did I even say that the right way? Ezekiel. More spinach, peppers. Uh, one of the things that I hadn't ordered with my GNC stuff is uh, I'm supposed to be taking zinc and magnesium and calcium every day. Look at this. Carla, this is for you. Almonds. They're pre-made in little packages, see? 200 calorie packages, which is nice, because I know Val wants me to have like almonds and apples for a snack. Uh, I was out of that. Uh, almond breeze, almond milk is what I get. Blue Diamond. We're actually doing some stuff uh, with Blue Diamond uh, on Fifth Valential, so pay attention. Blue Diamond hashtag. Organic limes, organic lemons, avocados, apples, berries, one dozen large grade A brown cage-free eggs, two dozen of those because then I got the egg whites, um, organic blackberries, uh, what else? Oh, best part, uh, wild salmon, Val was very specific, all the salmon has to be wild, which I'm going to ask her to talk to me about, she was saying some really bad stuff about tilapia. They basically, there's no way to make, there's no way to buy good tilapia. And again, this is boneless, wild, silver bright salmon. Um, again, it's, it's avoiding all the crap chemicals that can be put into fish or vegetables or whatever, which wreak havoc with my insides. And we all know that there's enough messed up stuff going on inside of this body. We don't need to mess it up anymore. So I'm really, really excited um, because I, as I shared with Val, as I've shared with you, um, I've made a lot of progress the past couple of months, especially since I've been back from South by Southwest, but I still found that um, although I was, uh, all, the quality of my food was great, I was still kind of tending to have like two meals a day as opposed to um, eating throughout the day and, you know, kind of spiking, you know, having a, a nice breakfast, not eating till six hours later, and then eating late at night, and kind of sporadically not planning my meals and so on and so forth. And then with my workouts, you know, not really having a plan, kind of just coming out here and going, okay, I'm making time for myself, I've got an hour, squeezing something in and just doing what, you know, not thinking, what did I do yesterday? Have I done chest? Have I done, you know, am I hitting all my body parts? Am I hitting my core? Am I getting the cardio? Am I getting this? Just kind of looking at, it's like I told Val, we were sitting in her, um, her living room and she has this big beautiful bookshelf and I said I feel like I'm, I'm hitting my workouts like looking at your bookshelf going wow there's all these great books what am I gonna read and you tend to go back to the same book that you've read before right so that's what I was doing with my workouts just kind of coming in here opening up my bag of tricks in there with all of my cool stuff and going okay Comic-Con ball, I haven't used that yet, so I don't know what to do there. Oogie ball, I haven't, I haven't done that enough. So then I'd always go for the same thing, and I'm doing the same workouts and kind of just, it's very random. So I know that for my purposes now, I need to be on a plan. I need somebody to like be my guide and keep me on the straight and narrow because 
Me with shiny object syndrome, this happens with work. It's happened with my workouts and my diet. I just will get distracted and I'm like, oh, that's, I'll do that, I'll do that. And then I'm not sticking to anything. And for those of you that are perfect and you stick to everything and you've been able to, this is what my brain needs right now. So Valerie's my guide. I'm doing uh, Bikini Body Express with her with a little extra help and guidance. I will report to you every single day. Um, it's gonna be hardcore for the next three weeks and then we're gonna stop, evaluate, and start again. Um, but I'm very thrilled and I will uh, now put the rest of this food away and talk to you guys tomorrow. Again, happy Mother's Day. And here's your 15 minutes. <laughs> Kelly, right back out of it. Oh, I thought there was somebody delivering stuff to my house, but it's Sunday. Talk to you tomorrow.